What have I done there? No, stop that. See, I go live and then instantly I just kind of turn away and do something else. waiting for me. Oh, hi, Andrew. Look, I'm live and you're not. Doesn't that make a change? <laughs> How are you, sir? You're just here for the kale. Ah, oh, Mizzy I. Hello, Mizzy I. Are you new? Don't think I've uh, seen that name before. Oh. So, um, I bought two big boxes of stuff. I would kind of sort of show like, uh, uh, this big heavy box. There are two Susan Davies, Amy FF, L33 Mrs. <laughs> and Karen, obviously. Hello. Hey, sexy lady. I can't do that dance. I don't know how you do it. Anyway, two big box. Yes, buying in bulk, Steve. Yes, I know. It's, um, it's a mystery, but it's because I basically sold them off eBay. So, um, someone was, they're just selling off a bunch of stuff, and I don't know why. Like, I don't know if they have a store that they're just selling off the crap, or if they um, run a charity shop or something. But they had a whole bunch of stuff. Hi, Sue. Hi, Gem and Lou. It'll be a load of bras. I've seen pictures of these things. I know I'm not buying bras. At least I hope. Um... So yeah, I was watching them for a while because they were bid starting at like twenty nine ninety nine, but then they had best offer on it as well. And I've never done this before, and it was a little bit cheeky. But I came towards the end of the auctions, and none of them had bids on them for what they want. So I cheekily just kind of sent in like ten pound, um, like offers on them, even though their bids were starting at like twenty something pounds. And she accepted the first one, so I was like, okay, so. Um, I went to the next one and offered slightly lower and they accepted that and so I just offered a tenner on all of them and all of them got accepted. So um, I spent in total £168.92. I don't know exactly how many items I'm going to get but from the photographs you can see 61. There might be a couple under or over. We don't know. But I'm going to take a look. And see what we got. You watch me as I just like slice through all of the clothes now. Wouldn't that be hilarious? I mean, at least I think it's this. I could have ordered something else, and you're just tuning in to watch me open up bubble wrap or something. I don't know. Well, they might not even be for me. Oh well, it's clothes, so that's a good start. Hi, Mandy. You're right. You're hoping for bras. I'm not. I've got plenty of bras. I don't need that. Thinking outside the box. See, that's me. Right. Okay. Promising start then. Is we do actually have some vintage dresses. Okay. And this isn't awful at all. I mean, okay. They smell rancid. So they will need a wash and a press. But, okay, so we've got like a gold kind of lurexy. Can you see a little bit of sparkle in there? So that's going to be um, probably 1950s or 60s. A little shift dress from the 60s. Happers Yown. Happers Yown is Welsh for very happy, by the way. Okay, this is cool. We've got a really gothic -y. Smell so beautiful. How do I how do I know that? Okay. Bloody hell. Number one, style. Okay. So the shapes of them. Hi, Helen. Okay, so the shapes. So um 1950s and 60s tend to be shift dresses. 70s tend to be longer dresses. Um 60s were either really short or um at the knee. Um Types of fabric used, so um, tends to be more of your cheap kind of polyesters, but really thick. Think like um, school uniform sort of stuff. Um, and the zip as well. Zips are always a big giveaway. Hi, Kirsten. Oh, hi, the pin box. Hello. 
Yes, old design and stuff. So I mean, just you can just tell. You just tell. You tell from feeling it by handling it. You know, too much to learn. I know. This is seventies. You can tell by the sleeves and the kind of finish on it. Yes, yeah, Steve. Like I don't recommend that you do vintage clothes. Really, maybe vintage men's clothes. Um, any labels? No labels to show you. This is professional dry clean only. Anyway, yes. So, two items in. I'm okay with this. Right. Kathy Lee collection. This looks early 90s. Okay. Bit of crushed velvet. Red crushed velvet. So that'll go, do well come Christmas time. Oh God, I just, I really do love that musty smell of old clothes. I must have a weird fetish, I think. I also think a lot of these are, um, hi Heather, um, <laughs> um, are from America as well, because I zoomed in and I saw some like American style labels, so whether they was like a shipment. Okay, so this is 70s, you can tell by the style. Little angel wing sleeves. That's quite cute. It's um, God, it's that re it's really slippery, shiny awfulness. Could put up a rail and sell. Oh yes, Kirsten, you should. So this is a maxi, cute little green maxi. So far, I'm doing okay with the dresses. We haven't got to the jackets and stuff yet, which are probably going to be dire. Um, oh, this is from Sears. So yes, this is a um, shipment from America. So a little summer slip dress in a minty colour. That's probably going to be, hmm, probably 70s again, I should imagine. I won't get much for that one. That'll be like a tenner, so it's because that's nothing particularly special. Oh, who had a butt knit? Did someone have a butt knit the other day? I think it was Karen, wasn't it? Okay, so we've got a butt knit dress. Very goth, gothic Lolita style with the little buttons down the front. Again, this is 1970s probably. Yes, you had a butt knit. You have a red dress in the same style. Is it from Sears as well? So there we go. Butt knit. I don't know how you actually pronounce it. Butte knit? I don't know. But once washed, I think that'll actually look quite cool. Happy with that. Right, so we've got, oh God, right. So this is possibly, blimey, how does, how do dresses work again? Is, what the hell is this? Hang on, hang on. Right. Strap this, strap, the, oh, that goes around the back. Right, hang on. We're getting there, kids, we're getting there. Oh, excellent. A butty knit. So that's lovely, that's probably 60s. 50s or 60s, I think. Spinny! I've had spinny before. Yes, it is American. I had prairie dress by them. Needs a bit of attention with that at the back. Hi, Kelly! Um, or I can just take that bit of ribbon off, actually. That's not so bad. But, again, these will all need a press. But I'm quite happy with that one. That's quite nice. Lovely floral detail on it. These boys that are watching this, obviously so excited by this. Hi Kath Palmer. Hi Lainey Ray. Okay. Quite a boring shift dressed. It's been vandalised by some sequins. That I will probably just sell off in a job lot with maybe some other dodgy stuff that I get in this. Not very exciting at all. No names. Possibly handmade. Right. So I'm guessing there's more dresses at some point because now we're on to some hoodies. So this is, is it Le Coq Sportif? Is that Le Coq Sportif? Hey, thank you. 107, well, 168.92 all of this cost me. So we've got, was that 70s, early 80s? Like zip up. Um, Got a Stella McCartney, Team GB. Very, very faded though. Very faded. So this probably won't be worth anything. Um, 
but still, I don't know, maybe you can get a tenner for it. Yeah, I sniped them off eBay. They were auctions that started at like £30, but they also had like um, buy it now kind of thing, like a send me an offer thing. So I just sent her an offer on like £10 on all of them and she accepted. Um, I reckon about 60 mm -hmm. ish I think. So yeah, Team GB hoodie, not vintage, but you know, what ifs. I'm not take it. I'm not counting. By the way, I'll maybe count later. This is completely nothing, and go to the charity shop. Easy, relaxed loungewear by Easy. This is completely nothing. That's just balls. Right. Oh, Converse. So I got Converse hoodie. It's a bit bobbly, but good GB hoodie. How do you think? Okay, cool. I hope so. So, is this a vintage one? I can't see any website details, which normally kind of gives it away. Um, no, no website details, so that's possibly a vintage esh, 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 vintage -y one. Anyway, um, says Chuck Taylor. Oh, isn't, is he a skater? I don't know, I've had some Chuck Day Taylor um, things before. Oh yeah, it does. Thank you very much. Um, razor my bobbles. I'm getting into jeans, you proud and stuff. Why, have you lost weight, Steve? See what I did there? I made a joke about Steve for a change. Um, G-Star. Okay. <laughs> So we've got a G-Star top. I don't know, G-Star's all right, isn't it? For jeans, definitely. There you go, Steve. You want to get G-Star jeans if you ever see them. Um, an Adidas hoodie, ladies one, by the looks of it. Um, Adidas.com, so it's not vintage. It's a UK 16. After a wash and a press, that'll be all right. How much do Adidas hoodies and stuff normally go for? Because I never really sold things like this, which I know sounds a bit weird. Um, okay, cool. Tommy Hilfiger. Mm -hmm. Zip of hoodie. Extra large. Made in Cambodia. One for the boys must be all bright. <laughs> um, yeah, that looks pretty authentic to me, I think. Possibly. What do we reckon? Yep. Hazy, how are you? Um, that's all right. See you later, Andrew. Go back to ruling the free world or something. Right, Tommy Hilfiger, help us down. Oh, this was in the photos. Hi, Lisa. Um, and I wanted this one for myself because I love a bit of what looks like Russian propaganda. Put the hood up and do gangster signs. Okay, maybe later. Um, Moscow Nights, dark and twisted fantasy. I just thought that looked quite, kind of cool in the photos. Um, it's only new look, but I quite like that. I might keep that one. Okay, if there's another hoodie like that, I will do it. Okay, we've got with a broken zip. Never mind. But a good old Reebok. Good 90s brand, that. Bit of beer, okay. You weren't expecting me to try these on as well, were you? Huh? Mm. This is extra, just for you. Mm. The Russian spy of... Oh, isn't she? Totally. So, like... I need, like, a vape or something as well, don't I? Blah, blah. Something like that, innit? <laughs> I look so cool. I know. I know. Ooh. A bit more Adidas. Or Adidas. How do you even say it? Okay. This is... Woman size 10. 
so right okay I think I'm doing all right so far aren't I like I've got my money back haven't I after a bit of washing of all these and stuff another cock sportif do you you say adidas as well as adidas I don't know that one's a bit yeah um well they're all vintage so I'm hoping that most of these generally are like you know 80s 90s Some of them have been quite recent, recent-ish. Some of them are in dodgy condition though, like this one, Armani jeans, but this is like bobbly as. So I'll probably just donate that one. Cause I know Villanelle is gorgeous, isn't she? But that's bobbly as shit and faded. So I'll probably just donate that. Um. Rough Riders, I don't know, Depop, De oh yes, good point, yeah, I can Depop these, can't I? That's a really good idea, thank you so much, rather than eBay and risk, you know. Oh, hi George Ross, the second leader of the free world, just kidding. Um, what, who, who's heard of this? But yeah, I'll depop these. That's a good idea. Waves, 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 waves. Canadian graphics. Huh, okay. Interesting. But no, I'll definitely depop these. That's a really good idea. Because just in case there is something dodgy, um, it means that they can't leave negative feedback on and ruin my eBayness. So yeah, that's cool. Right, some jackets then. So I'm guessing these are American because... They have fantastic prices on them. Village de Valure, $7.99. So these are going to be quite boring jackets. I'm not holding out too much hope on them, but considering I paid £20 for one lot and £15 for another lot, it's not the end of the world. Some of these I can definitely sell. Right. Peter Nygaard. See in Game of Thrones. Am I imagining that? Peter Nygaard. That's not awful. Got kind of pretty buttons. Come on, what am I thinking of? Peter Ny Nygaard. Or am I thinking of a Skarsgård? That's an actor. It's not the same thing. Um, yes. Oh, hi BCP. Okay, so this one was apparently $14.99. When you fill in your spreadsheet, <laughs> spreadsheet my ass, whatever. Um, these are all going to be really awful fabrics as well, aren't they? Mm, acrylic. But, you know, all these jackets, even if I get between 5 and a 10 at each, and jackets are super easy to list as well, I find. One of my favourite things to do. Talbot's established 1947. That's all right. That's a bit faux Chanel, isn't it? Peter Dinklage or something. Yeah, yeah. Him. I don't know. I don't know what I'm talking about. Um, some grey blazer by Thanks Collection which is apparently 9.99. I reckon this is thrift store stuff you see that has been imported. Mix it. 40% wool, 60% other shit. Doesn't everyone have I no, I don't love a spreadsheet, Steve. I really don't. I don't do any of that crap. Because the amount of listings you have, surely that's just a nightmare to keep trying to find out what price you got. It's just how much I spent this month versus how much I've made. And then the rest is the best. Hmm. Yeah, exactly. Okay, we're getting to some hmm, good shares here. So this was apparently 19.99. Casper, made in Sri Lanka. Sri Lanka. 
Mm, buco. Isn't that buco? Bucle. Whatever you say it, I don't know. Right, this is Access, a Liz Claiborne company. I can't stand Pret spreadsheets either. Mmm. So I'm not loving the jackets, to be honest. But, you know, they'll get me a few quid each. Some of them are horrendous. Horrendous. Tan J Petites. Horrendous. Mmm. Okay. Susie by Susie Shear. Um, yes, secretary, definitely secretary. Yeah. Hi, Julie Halil. Um, yeah, Boxy. That's another good one as well. Disgusting. Oh, this one, though, which is the last one in the box. Liz Claiborne is okay, cool. Thank you. This one is the reason I bought this, this whole lot, because I think it's amazing. <clears throat> Look at that. That's my money back. People just say, yeah, it's probably from one of those, isn't it? There's one in Cardiff, like um, a vintage wholesaler, which I'm gonna go to at some point and spend a bunch of monies with them and hand pick stuff. This I didn't hand pick. Right, this is freaking gorgeous. Oh, look at that. Wow, come on, that's amazing. You're so jealous. You're so jealous. It does, doesn't it? Oh. I super love this. It's amazing. So. 30 pounds. 30 pounds on that. Brilliant. Right, that was the end of the first box. So. Next one. So there'll be a whole load more jackets and hopefully a dresses as well. Okay, something black. Um, you should be listing more shoes. <laughs> oh, the flamenco dancer, um, she is keeping, um, Liberty Bell Company, because Liberty was looking a bit depressed. Because I give them character names and stuff. And personalities. It's not weird. It's not weird. Right. This is union made. Workers union. That's weird. That's bizarre. So, some kind of... How does that work? Your neck can't fit in there. That's tiny. No way is that neck hole. Let's try. Get off. My wheelchair is now definitely not weird. <laughs> See, it's perfectly fine. Perfectly fine to name inanimate objects. <laughs> oh, come on. Okay, well this has problems. No chance. That can't be a neck hole. That's insane. But yeah, it's definitely from one of those low sales. It's nothing particularly exciting there. Can I show the label, Kate? There we go. Sort of. So it says, um, International Ladies Garment Workers Union Union made. Ooh, thanks, Lisa. <laughs> I'm glad I inspire you. Oh, hideous horrendousness. Wow. Plus size one, that's just gross. What a terrible colour that is. Absolutely awful. And that really needs some attention. Metal zip on that union made. 
Yes, metal zip. Yeah. Okay, this is kind of cute. Again, probably 1970s. Um, same as what I got Kilo Sale pickup. Oh, there we go. So 1950s. Oh, fab. Of course, of course, that would make sense, doesn't it? Hate the smell of some metal zips. That's kind of cute. I like that one. Yeah, so it must be all Kilo Sale remnants. I'm all right with that. Okay, hideous. Okay, bye, Steve. Um, 70s, early 80s. This is a bit Margot. Again, all of these need attention, but you know. <laughs> Has anyone died? What, in this? Not yet, but. Oh, you mean wearing the clothes? Oh, wouldn't that be cool? I know. Isn't it proper disgusting? I reckon I'll probably get about 20, 30 quid for that. Oh, that's cute. So that's a 60s kind of mod dress. And that's fab with sheer pink sleeves. Oh. Let me see if I can try this one on. Hang on. It's super cute. So the funeral director's coat, nice. Wow. Isn't it awful? I love it. <laughs> Straight out of the Avengers, totally. Hang on. Uh. Yeah, I kind of love that one. That's fun. Ooh, bit of crushed velvet. Oh, that's pretty. I don't know what that label says. That's nice. Little kind of disco dress. That's really sweet. Very, was it, um, is it Studio 54 kind of thing? So we got some purple, lavender, lilac, whatever it is. Yeah, that was a nice one, wasn't it? Very simple. Maxi dress. That's quite sweet. These have all had metal zips so far. Ooh, what's this? Okay, fabulous. We hope. Oh, it's called Phoebe, made in the USA, size 16. That's kind of fun. I think Karen knows what sort of... Um, bye, Indy. What sort of um, keywords to use on that one? Like fugly. <laughs> um, significance of... Yeah, like um, plastic zips are obviously more recent and if they're... Um, hang on. Like that metal, you, you can just see metal rather than plastic. It just means it's a bit older. And also, rather than that bit, some of them, they have like a, you know, like a teardrop sort of shape, which means that they're newer. This is cute. Little cotton dress. Isn't that lovely? Look at the sleeves on that. Oh, they're like open sleeves. Super cute. Safari chic. Oh, I like that. Oh, hospital blue. But that's all right. Another kind of seventies. Yep. I know. I'm liking the. I'm liking these dresses. Mm -hmm. I really am. Very happy with these, even at like, um, like ten pounds each. I'm all right with them. Um. Okay. See you later, Peter. That's a lovely color green. But. Uh, no, no, that is vintage. Maybe handmade though. This is probably handmade. 
but that's cool. Who's gonna go live before, who's going live? Oh shit, are you live this afternoon, Peter? You are, aren't you? Four o'clock, is that right? Yeah. Oh my word. I love this. Oh, look at that. That's so pretty. Stroke hideous. Sheer sleeves. Um, I guess you'll be the home. Well, it's all right, isn't it? I mean, I've certainly got quite a few quid from here. You know? I reckon. Oh, some more crushed velvet. Evening Chic by Lola Berent. Okay, this has got a problem. It's got boning and the boning's coming out. So we'll just remove the boning, basically. Little cocktail dress. That's pretty 80s, isn't it? Look at that. Mm. That needs to be sewn back down. So much stuff for my mum to fix, lucky mummy. <laughs> okay, what's this? Ah. Right. That's all right, probably 70s again, isn't it? Another little cocktail dress. Probably 80s, isn't it? How was the doll's house? I still haven't done anything to it, to be honest. But I will. And when I buy next door, I will put the doll's house in it and I will decorate each room in the same room and then I'll put a miniature doll's house inside that house. Oh, wouldn't that be creepy? But yeah, it's in my bedroom next to my bed. This is cute. Nice colour. Like that. Good for people wanting to just dress up 70s fancy dress style. Oh, is it buffering? Am I buffering? I'm not buffering on my laptop. That's okay. You go. It's fine. Yeah, I'm not buffering on mine because I'm watching myself there as well and I'm okay. Um, little cocktail dress, quite nice. That'd be good at Christmas time. Oh, another orange one. Freaking lovely. Needs a good soak. But my word, look at that. Look at that hideous horrendousness. Wow. Haha. <laughs> oh, with a lace down the sleeves as well. That's amazing. So cool. I mean, even. Even all of these at a tenner each for the dresses, it's still £280. But I'll get more than a tenner for most of them. This is a lovely colour yellow. That's cracker, isn't it? That's super cute and tiny. I like that one, that's a lovely colour. And then I think this might be the final dress and then there's some more jackets. Oh, that's cute. Orange. Like that. If I'm happy with the dresses, they all need a bloody good wash, mind. They're all disgusting. Right. No muffering here. You had a good, you had a small buff. Everybody just have a quick buff and get it out of the way. Somebody likes a good muffin. Sag Harbour. Minging, boxy, check, plaid, leather. It's called Heavy Tweed. Oh, they all smell amazingly vintage. It actually kind of turns me on a little bit. Hmm. That looked like velvet on screen, but it wasn't. Tahari. Arthur S. Levine. Tahari. I'm sure I've had Tahari before. 
I've had something by that name. More boxy jackets. These aren't particularly exciting. So sorry to be wasting your time. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, my sofa is just entirely full now. What brand is that? Old Navy. Hmm. Go do photos, Kelly. Chaus. Chaus? Oof. Mmm, pink dog too. A rockabilly scar favourite. Seduction. Yes. Not very seduced by that. Um, these all look 90s to me, don't they? Hello, awesome people. Who's that? Mark Day, the last king of Scotland. Oh, hello, last king of Scotland. Oh, yeah, it's definitely American. I mean, for a start, they've got prices in dollars on them. That what gave it away to me. Olsen Europe. Oh, that's the wool. That's okay. There's definitely more than 60, though, isn't there? I reckon. John's we're boring. So obviously I'll be washing and listing the dresses first to get them on for festival season. Another Susie Shire. And then the jackets that can wait a few weeks really. Oh, more orange. I do love orange. Um, Caslon. Made in the USA, nice big buttons. I've got to say, there were a couple of like faults on the dresses, and they all need a clean. But I mean, they've been minor faults, so I haven't seen any like holes or anything yet. Yeah, quite like that one. That's unusual. And then, last item, little herringbone tweed jacket. That's all right. Yeah. So, do you want to just show you my sofa right now? So. Sorry, what was that question? Would you risk putting it all through the washing machine? The jackets, definitely, for sure. Um, and the hoodies and stuff, because obviously they're made to be machine washable. The dresses will be probably hand-soaked. Um, I've got special, not special stuff for it, but, you know, like, proper... No, it's not just washing liquid, it's, like, good stuff. Like, delicate things. So, it'll, one at a time, we'll just get soaked like in the sink or overnight in the bath or something, a load of them. Um, good rinse out, hang up on the line, should get rid of the smell and stuff. Um, and should be happy days. I'm actually, I'm reasonably quite pleased with what I got. There's no utter gems in there. But, you know, I got some hill figure, I got some Adidas stuff, I got some nice 70s dresses. I think I'm going to do okay. Not like insanely alright, but I think, I don't know. About £500-ish worth. And I haven't had to go out sourcing for them and try and find them. Yeah, I'm alright with that. I'm cool. Exactly. Took minutes to source. And it was kind of fun because it felt like I was being a bit naughty and cheeky. And then when they all just went, yeah, go on then. Have them for a tenner. So, okay. Fab. So... Does somebody want to do some maths for me? So I reckoned about 60 items, um, but there's possibly a few more. So we'll say 60, and we'll round it up to £170. So what's that per item? Can somebody maths? Because I, I don't do brain. 170 divided by £60. Is that about £3 something an item? No, the other way around. 170 divided by 60. Nearly £3 each. Okay. Um, if you're watching on uh, how do you put down... Those... Oh, George. I, I, I have no idea. Why are you asking a sensible question on my channel? Have you met me? You have. And you met me whilst drunk. You should know not to ask sensible questions. Dear Lord. Um, £2.83 per item. 
which for the um the dresses i'm super chuffed with for the blazers <laughs> that's that's okay and for the hoodies that's okay oh <gasps> yay have i got oh have i got a have i got a troll i've got a troll amazing right oh this is so exciting hello mr troll how are you psychedelic toad this is super exciting wow okay um i'm a i'm a sensible toad indeed yay uh, 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 uh. as you're washing trainers more often um Troll, it's my first time here. Oh, I was hoping you were going to be a troll. Oh, just say something mean, go on. Just because it's fun. I've never had one before, so you could be my first if you like. Please. Just try it. Um, there we go. A sensible answer um, from... Oh, and I've made Karen a mod as well, just in case. Reselling is a hard business, just wondering if you support a family. I have two cats, I support them. Does that count? And, I don't know, I suppose in terms of the washing machine question, if my washing machine broke whilst doing this, I would possibly buy a new one and put that through as expenses. Maybe. Oh, thanksy. I have got blue hair, you are correct. Oh, that doesn't work as an insult. Damn it. You have gorgeous hair, Z. You're like a Labrador. It's beautiful. Yay. Um, you know, it's uh, intensely more during the winter. Okay. Um, right. I should probably start sorting some of this shit out. And by sorting, that generally means I'm going to put it all back in the boxes and ignore it until next week. Isn't that cool? Or maybe Friday I can put some washing on. Your singing is nightmare. Sib? Just for that, what can I sing for you? Give me a song. Ooh, burn. Um, good, yes. No more sensible questions, Ross. Ross, George, Ross, retro reselling. Uh, yeah, please, no more sensible questions. I, I can't, I can't do sensible. Yeah, I know, sorry. It's because I was just reading. Oh, oh, okay. I can chuck you off my channel if you like. In fact, Karen can. Now she's a mod. Oh, Becca Bamba. Hey, Becca Bamba, how are you? All right, our kids. Is there any question you would never dye your hair? Um, probably green. I have been green before, but um, surprisingly, I've got green eyes, but green hair didn't suit me. Yeah. Um, I don't see, but I like the sound of one. If you could send me close-up pictures, that would be great. Thank you. Um, Favourite residence? Oh, a cul-de-sac. I used to live on a cul-de-sac. Um, and I had a little roundabout in the middle and I used to sit in the middle and um, make daisy chains. Yes, green is my favourite colour and orange. They are my favourite colours. And what is your accent region? I am not from the UK. I am Welsh. I'm from South Wales, Pays de and, um But I don't have a typical sort of South Walesian accent, I suppose. I don't know why, but I don't sound as Welsh as most people around you. They all, all tend to sound like this, but all right, all right. Um, yeah, I can't even do a pretend accent very well. Where are you from, psychedelic toad? If you're not from the UK. Hi, John Breddy. Um, how many men does it take to change a light bulb? It depends how thinly you slice them. No, that's Tyler Bathroom. <laughs> uh, Sib, how very dare you. 
Well, yeah, because you're not used to the Welsh accent, whereas round here, um, that's a good answer, Sue. That's very funny. Um, but round here, I don't sound so Welsh. Name a country I should take Caroline to. Mozambique. Um, we'll need meetings and breaks. Oh my God! Actually, if it was men in charge in it, they would start separate factions of like who were the best at changing light bulbs. They'd spend all day talking about how they were the best at changing light bulbs. No, they're the best at changing light bulbs and how they want to be inclusive to all light bulb changes. Um, meanwhile, the women are just off going like, sod you guys, you argue amongst yourself, we're going to go change the light bulb, yeah? Basically. And that's my opinion on that. Yeah. That's obviously not relating to anything in the real world. Obviously. Right. <laughs> and on that note, I might just go and leave y'all to it. But um, thank you very much for Bant for um, joining me. I'm now going to go have a cigarette, burn all this stuff. Kidding. Um, put it all back in boxes and stuff and ignore it for a little bit. So, yeah. Right. Have a good day, everyone. And I shall speak to you again soon. Bye-bye now. Bye-bye.